Hello and welcome to this second video about Harmonica Rex. It's the second gear talk video I make. It's about, especially about the Jim Dunlop harp handle and also about the K&M rack which I discussed earlier. But the Jim Dunlop rack, uh, it cost about the same as the K&M rack. K&M was 15 euro, Dunlop was 17 euro. Um, but it's made differently. You can see the Dunlop one. It has very thin steel. It has here some flexible things which keep the harmonica in place. Also here it keeps it in place. Um, it has one turning point, two turning points. Um, around the neck it's also very thin steel. The k and rack. Uh, you put the mic in here. It's a system with... Uh, springs and it only has one turning point this one the Dunlop rack it has a w much better position than the K&M rack because of the extra turning point it comes in your mouth at a horizontal angle at the K&M rack it comes in your mouth at, at um, a diagonal angle so I prefer playing with the Jim Dunlop position um, these screws they are not really strong so you have to really tighten it i'm afraid you will break it after a while of using but of course you can replace them you can maybe replace them even with better screws um, <clears throat> i'm also afraid that when you sit on this one or when you step on it or i don't know what it will break fast while the k&m rack, rack it's more sturdy um, also in the neck you can see it's also very thin well here you have some rubber around it it's thicker it's extra rubber so the K&M rack it will move less in your neck than the Jim Dunlop rack I tried it once um, for like one hour and uh, I noticed that it moves easily around your neck so I had to make my lips really wet to slide easy over over the hop because otherwise it got stuck and it just moved with me with my uh, with my head so that was not not good so I'm thinking about modifying this Jim Dunlop rack because um, it's very lightweight that's good it's got the perfect position um, but the main problem is that it can move around in the neck this uh, the screws sometimes when you push it you can move it a little bit because it's not very strong um, but it's okay it's not that a big of a problem but especially this is the problem it moves in your neck i also talked about the um let me think what's the name uh flex rack the whole flex rack before if you want to see that video click here because if you uh, want to see that video, you can also see the difference between that rack. It's uh, got a lot of different things. It's also very good to play, but I lost mine after modification. So I just bought a cheaper one this time. I'm happy with this one, but I'm going to fix the problem. That's why I put a headset here and I took it, took it apart. A very old headset so I only have this I'm gonna put this around here I think it will make it move less so I'm gonna make a second video about that what's also funny is the headphone is not entirely lost even though one part was broken but unfortunately fortunately this part wasn't I can just easily plug it in to any amp even though it's a stereo Stereo, yeah, output normally, but now input. Check. Ah, stuck. I'm gonna put down the. Yes, okay. So it's a stereo plug, but it works also in a mono amp. This is big nose. Mono input. So 
Oh, it's working. Testing, mic test, yeah. Perfect. I want to play harmonica with this one also. Or maybe make a full mic of it. You even have volume knobs in the back, you can turn it off. Um, so that's funny. <laughs> okay, see you in the next video when I modify this with this Cheerio.